I want to look at what Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy has to say about Descartes' view on the pineal gland. And there's some, some interesting things in here that will then uh, be of, be of uh, significant use in, in the future. So he talk, this article talks about what was already known, and Descartes ignores a lot of, of this or, or was unaware of it. Um, but we have um, this description of Descartes' view on the pineal gland. And so I just want to read this introductory paragraph in this, in this uh, video, and then I'll, I'll break it up into a few pieces here so it's a little easier to navigate. Um, so Descartes' view on the pineal gland. Today, René Descartes is mainly known because of his contribution to mathematics and philosophy, but he was highly interested in anatomy and physiology as well. He paid so much attention to these subjects that it has been suggested that if Descartes were, to, were alive today, he would be in charge of the cat and PET scan machines in a major research hospital. Descartes discussed uh, the pineal gland both in his first book, The Treaties of Man, uh, written before 1637, before the discourse on, on the method, but only pus published posthumously. Uh, after he died, first in an imperfect Latin translation in 1662, and then in the original French in 1664. A number of letters written in 1640 to 41, and in his last book, The Passions of the Soul, uh, 1649. All right, so we'll, we'll take a look at this further. 